What's up everybody, how you doing? MDW here again, and I've got a quick video for you. First of all, I apologise for not putting out much recently. I'm having a bit of a move around on my studio area, so well, you'll see the fruits of that soon. But I thought I'd just get in here with a quick review of something I've got over Christmas time. So it's the Artifacts Plus Kylo Ren statue, one-tenth scale from Kotobukiya. Let's check him out. So the front of the box showcases the figure within. Inside of it you get another pose you can get out of the figure. And in the back there's got another picture of the figure as well with several display options and a bio for the character below. Inside the box when you open it up as well the figure is packed in a plastic kind of clamshell packaging box. All the bits come individually sealed in there as well. Welcome back everybody. So I've got him out of the pack now. I'm going to put him together for you now. So Kylo Ren. First of all we get a set of instructions in the box as you do with the colour book here figures there. So there's not much assembly required there. It just all generally snaps in really nicely that I found with these kits in the past. But there's a few bits options there. So he's got, uh, you can have him without his hood up. The hood there. Or his hood down. And then you also get a couple of different arms to pose with him. So you've got the pushing arm and just the kind of standard, just standing there stance as well. So, there we go. You get a base with it as well. So these bases come with all the uh, One Tip Scale Artifacts Plus figures. They're a little bit magnetic. So you've got the base of the figure there. You can see the two little magnets. And then obviously the magnet in the base, quite weighty. And then the figure just literally plops on the base like that. And you can move him around nicely. Doesn't really, do you know what I mean? I mean, you can't like obviously roll it and stuff, it will, it will fall over, but nice and sturdy on the ground. And you can see that you know, it does always lift the base up, so it's a nice strength, not too powerful, but you can move him around nicely and then you can pose other troopers and stuff behind him as well. But you know, just protect the figure a little bit. I think that's a really nice touch, to be honest. Uh, you know, for the money you get. Uh, you spend on these figures here, you're not going to get a super elaborate base, but I think these ones you know, sit together nicely. I've got you know, Darth Vader with a couple of stormtroopers that sit together with you know, all these black bases around, and they just look really nice. So that comes with him as well. And then you've got the breakdown, so you've got his lightsaber with a cross blade, and like I said, the forearm options there, his chest, head, and then his hood down or his hood up as well. So, yeah, there's quite a few options there. Hard plastic it's all made of, you know, so it's got a little bit of bend to it as well. So that's his, his shawl there, you know, his chest piece there. So again, you know, hard plastic for the main bit of it. And then these bits are all a bit rubbery, you know, hard, softer plastic that moves. So that's good. And his waist there, so you've got the band, his belt. And then these bits here, again, a harder plastic. They flip up and you can see all the detail underneath. So Kotobuki are known for their detail, really good detail on this figure. So is, is the material, you can see all the lines and grooves in all his material there. You can hear my finger running down it where it's been moulded. And then underneath as well, so quite a lot of detail, even though it's covered up. So he's got his under tunic there as well, which again is ribs. And then obviously the paint job, his boots and his trousers as well. So loads of detail going on, even though a lot of it is covered up. Nothing you expect less from Copacchia. So we've got the chest piece there. So I'm going to literally snap that on. So the peg there, which will twist in. There like that, so that's all done. Ready to go. And then I think I'm going to display him with his hood up to start off and show you. So you've got the hood piece there and then the helmet. I think best thing to do for this is to put the helmet in the hood. I believe they tell you in the instructions. It sits in there. There we go. It clips in there like that. And then that just goes on the ball joint there. There we go. Looking good. A little bit of movement. Yeah, that's cool. That's all sat in there nicely. And then all you do is just choose the arms you want to clip in. So I'm going to go for just a standard pose there. So again, that just fits in there. You see the jigsaw puzzle piece there. Clips in. One arm in. Second arm, same there. That goes in nicely, even though his tunic's a bit hanging over there. And then there we go. Lightsaber. Nice firm grip there. Just slips in nicely. And there we go, 
Kylo Ren is assembled. Really good detailing on the kit. Like I said, you know, Kylo Ren is obviously all black, so there's not really much to it, but you can see like the shine of his arms, which is different. It's got a different finish to it compared to the actual tunic as well. Loads of detail on his face there. And obviously, let's say the design and the general feel of the tunic has got that kind of rib feel on it. So it's like a different material to his undersuit and everything. So, Jimmy, a lot of detailing going on for just a figure which is primarily black. And there we go. He's ready for posing. We can do a couple of shots now of a few alternative positions. But there's a look at the Kylo Ren one-tenth scale figure. So a really good thing I found guys as well from the head swap. So that's the second one there with the, this cape hood basically down there. So you clip that on there and then his head goes on the top there. His head actually does have some articulation to it as well. So it's on a ball joint so it swivels up and down left and right as well. So that adds a little bit of posing ability to it as well. So there we go everybody. There's a look at the 110 scale Artifacts Plus figure from Kodobukiya of Kylo Ren. Wanted to get my hands on the figure for a long time. They can be a bit pricey here and there, so again, I've waited for the right price to come along before I picked him up, but you're talking around about £50 for these sort of things. You can get them in the high street and game, I believe I've had some, and on eBay as well. It's a bit of an older figure now, so it might be a bit harder to get hold of them, just on the high street anyway. Really nice figure, good detailing on it as well, despite the fact that it's just primarily a black outfit. Lightsaber detailing is really excellent as well, and it's a cool bit to add to my Styles collection. So if you're into this sort of thing, guys, I definitely recommend picking him up. I might try and get hold of Captain Phasma as well at some point. There's a uh, little comparison with Darth Vader from the same line as well. So you can see he's a bit taller than Kylo there. But overall, great figure. Thanks very much, everybody. MDW signing off, and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.